Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sanoji and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be all about the new updated version 1.07.85. Especially the new 3 recipes that have been added to the game. These recipes are extremely unique compared to the rest of Hadron recipes. It's capable of copying all the item attributes onto another item. Now if you think about this, this is literally the next level of crafting by the way. Meaning that you can craft the ultimate item that you really wanted for your characters. So let's go ahead and take a look at the recipe first. The first and second recipe allow players to copy all the tribute from one item to another. You are going to need two items at the same time in quality, one general runes, one perfect string head, and one set or a unique item. Keep in mind that set item can be used to transfer magic quality items while the unique item can be used for rares. The third recipe allow players to copy only one attribute from one rare item to another rare item. This one is a little bit tricky since the chosen attribute is completely random. However, there is a trick to this one. You can actually say the number of attributes according to the number of source item versus the target item. It's a little bit confusing, but I will show you guys an example in this video. Let's go ahead and test the first recipe. The first recipe includes two items of the same type and quality, which is rares, one unique items, one perfect string head, and one Jira runes. Let's go ahead and put it in here and show you. Now right after I put in it, you will see two different color circles. The red one to indicate the source item and the green one indicate the target item. Now I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna get every single status from the red one to the green one. Now this is another trick to this one. You can actually manipulate which one you want. So let's go ahead and put the gym here, the rune here. So you, let's go ahead and just move things around. But I think you probably noticed what just happened earlier. This one just completely turned red and this one completely turned green. Now if I were to put this one over and the other one to the other size, this one will become red and this one will become green. You see the difference here? I know it's, I know it's, it's kind of a little weird because you saw it earlier. Like if you just move the item around, there's a chance the item will completely switch places. But the best way to do it is I actually want the status for this armor. I'm going to go ahead and move it over here. Perfect. And that's all, I, that's all I need. I just need to put the... Wait, actually, no, no. Put this one over here. Now it works. So I actually want the status from this armor over here all the way to the green one. So let's go ahead and transfer it. Wait, just to make sure. Okay, this one is the red indicator and the green indicator. Remember, the one status right now I have right now, I haven't clicked the armor yet. This one have the original status. Keep that in mind. Now for the new armors, I have the new status. Cool, huh? Now the second recipe works exactly like the first one, with except that you have to use a set item and it only transfers magic quality items. So let's go ahead and put everything in here. Two magic quality items with the same types and one set items. Perfect string head and one JR runes. Let's go ahead and reorganize here. Oops. Got it. Okay, cool. So, I actually want the cast speak from this armor to this armor, which is pretty awesome. Now, you can actually change the armor types. Like, let's say I don't want this armor, and I want this instead. The lightless play armor, since it's cost lower strength to equip it. These are red indicators on the source items, and green indicator on the target item. Perfect. Let's go ahead and craft it. So, cast speak over here. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and check the armors. Cast speed on the low strength armors. So perfect. The last recipe requirement work exactly like the first one and the second one, but you don't need the set or a unique item. The side effects is that it allows players to transfer status from one item to another. Keep in mind that it doesn't affect with magic quality, so let's go ahead and toss this item in here and show you as an example. See, it doesn't work. So we're going to take this out. Toss the right item in here. Cool. Now, if you notice in the middle, it said a question mark. So the red indicator item, which is the sword item, will choose one of the random status and transfer it to this one. Let's go ahead and craft it. So remember the status over here: seventy-five lives, five percent walk speed, ten percent cast speed. Oh wow, that's pretty nice. Three percent ice resistance, thirteen dex, thirty-seven percent attack rating. Go ahead and check the new status. Okay, so. What you see here, it actually replaced one of the status, which I don't remember, 
but you can totally notice that one of the status got replaced. So this is how the last recipe worked. Now, if you remember what I said earlier, that you can actually save the number of tribute according to the sword item versus the target item. Now, what I mean by that is based on the attribute. It will replace the last attribute versus the sword and the target item. So let's go ahead and put everything here and show you how to work. Now, if you notice, this recipe only works for the third recipe. So the first and second is out of options, by the way. So if you notice here, wait, actually, the first and second might work. No, no, actually, the first and second doesn't work because it's transfer all the status from another item to the other item. So it won't replace it. But anyway, so this one have five attributes and one trigger effects, while the other one have four attributes. So what does that mean is that the first four attribute will get replaced by chance, it will choose a random attribute from the another items, and the last attribute will not be replaced. So that's what I mean. You can actually say the number of attribute according to the sword item versus the target items. Now, I'm not sure if it replaces trigger effect as well, so that's something that we might be able to figure it out later on. Let's go ahead and transfer it. Okay, so this is the original status. Let me go and check the first, the new one basically. Okay, cool. So new one got replaced it. Now this is only like an example as such, but you have to play around to figure that out. So like you are pretty sure that the item with the most attribute will not get replaced versus whatever depending on the number of the attributes on the original items. But yeah. Alright fellas, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to drop a like for this video. This is Sano G once again, and I will see you all next time. Laters.